All right, guys, good morning, and welcome to another pre mark analysis. Hold up, I think I got a sneeze. Nope. <laughs> All right. So let's dive into it. Let's dive into it. Let's dive into it. Oh, here's some other screens. Oh, here's one. Nope. One second. All right. So over here, you can already see the key level. Now it's way better or way more facial. You can see that it's really key level. <laughs> those reactions here around that area but let's dive into today what are we looking at where are we going to trade from and actually let's start the week or let's start the properly because yesterday it was not really great i was busy and i overslept as well so previous weekly low, previous weekly high. <coughs> that bullish range. Breaking its structure. So if this thing be high. Oh wait, this is DXY. Come on, bro. <laughs> it was not. That's right. That's right. So for DXY, of course, we're still looking for lower pricing, and ideally, want to go lower. But this strike is quite strong push to the upside, and this fair correction on the way up, uh, on the way down. So therefore. We might look for longs. We might look from here. <clears throat> That's one area. Another area is, of course, below this, as we have this entire bullish leg, and this could be functioning as um, internal each liquidity. And with that, we want to see price come below that. Then we have another nice uh, supply zone over here. You know, taking out these lows and then causing that push to the upside. So could be a nice long from here, meaning short on the U. However, we know that we reached into this more premium pricing of this most recent bearish lag. And we also know that overall we are looking for lower pricing as we follow this uh bearish blue structure. This red one is still intact, but um <clears throat> As we reach into the premium of the blue structure, uh, you can uh, make the expectation, expectation, expectation uh, of price breaking below this and break taking out that red structure just because that blue one is more major. Now, long from here, what would what that look like on EU? <clears throat> That's on EU. We have this bearish range, and yeah we are as i said if it's going to be correctional and we'll be looking for shorts now from where will i be looking at short and that will be above that liquidity although now we can add to this that we took previous daily highs so previous daily high actually can just use this Previous daily high, we are inside premium pricing and we were looking for shorts with correctional PA. So if we take Asia highs, I will be looking for shorts. Asia high. 
And then where will I target? I will target below this liquidity um, because I, I still think price can come up higher. Not the cleanest area, but it is a fairly, very fairly area nonetheless. <clears throat> and with this liquidity building up like that, I'm still yeah, I'm still a fan of this this area below here. And then so we get two areas to trade from. First area is over here. Um I think yeah. As this came above and reach discount pricing again, so Then we have a highs. Of course, you know that we have this area as well. That we can short from. And now with my hay fever or pollen energy, this uh a cup of coffee in the morning is really what I need. <laughs> Hold up. So, So let's zoom out one more time. Let's check what else is there because we got some areas above here. That will be an ideal area area to short. Now, if you go to high time frame. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. We have this one minute supply. We did tap into the one minute POI. Uh, one hour, sorry, one minute, one hour POI, but the supply is still intact. So let's see how that goes. And then we got equals above here. For these areas, and we know that we got one and two previous day uh, weekly highs up there, and we know that we reached into discount of the blue range, and we're looking for higher pricing. And as far as for now, we can see that strong impulse, but now that it's followed up by strong bearish impulse and correction way, uh, price action on the way up. So this can mean two things really <clears throat> one this correction is inducement to induce sellers as as i said there's not much liquidity inside that lag so it might be an inducement and then continue further up but for now we're following this internal bearish range as this is quite correctional uh over here we still have this blue light blue range intact as well which we didn't reach uh, discount pricing on yet, so it would be ideal. Oops, wrong one. It would be nice to see from this premium pricing I push further down into the discount pricing of the blue leg. Of course, that's a lot to ask, and probably won't happen if the blue range continues, because that would be a very correctional for that blue range. We got a low, high, high, low, high, high. This was very correctional. But this part was quite correction as well, but here price momentum stepped in. And although this was correctional, we didn't reach discount pricing. So yeah, <clears throat> I think to get this move down, that will be that would mean to me probably that that red range will continue further down. And we might see deeper discount on that right range that's a possible scenario of course but for now eu buys from below here and sells from above asia high and yeah that's that's basically it now let's move these arrows first <laughs> also let's mark on previous daily lows So nice doji candle as well. Good to look at the high time frame. Forgot to do that. Gotta keep doing that. So we get a nice doji candle. Open way higher than the Friday candle closure. Previous daily low still intact. We got Asian low still intact. 
So nice. <clears throat> high, low, high, higher, low, higher, high. So I can, if we got, if we follow this range, if we follow this internal range, this low, high, higher, low, high, high, then I, would be nice inducement to get below here, but high, low, high, high. Ideally below H low, come below H low. And then move there. Nice. These different feeds on the same feeder. I love it. But we can see some form of relative equals over here. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's first focus on cells. Because buys are quite far away, sales are easier, uh, reaching that premium pricing than buys are reaching or the price is reaching discount pricing. So that's why we can take a lot of sales. Now GU, this was of course high time frame. Early buyers, and now we might see the turnaround. But as of now, it's not really promising. As we can see, those equals down here. Um, although we hold strong, I think it's already marked on there. You see that bullish structure is still intact. We got low, high, high, low. Now we have a bearish break, actually. That's quite interesting. Um, but I think the previous day highs above here, we might take that out Yeah, I don't know which you man. Sells above previously in the high, but we still have this bearish range. This is a nice area to sell from. Other than that, we have a low, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, high, high. <coughs> but <laughs> I take Asia highs. So, Use messy, uh, G use messy, it's ranging. I don't like that. So let's focus on you, of course, as usual. Uh, sells from these areas and above Asia high and buys from this area. And that's basically my pre market analysis. That's what I'm looking for today. Other than that, I'm not taking any trades. So yeah. Yeah, let's just stick with that. We know where we are in higher time frame. Discuss the different structures and scenarios. We know that we have liquidity down here. Um, and we know that we have some liquidity internally here, but this might just be an inducement. And then we followed up with some speed. Now, one thing when I, is, of course, news. There is some news today, actually a lot on Canadian dollar as well. But US dollar. New home sales, so I don't know about that. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. This is my pre-market analysis. Catch you guys later.